it's what you feel comfortable with your body. That's the whole thing. How long did it take you to get comfortable? It took me my junior year. Uh, my sophomore year, you know, I was still a little bit worried about my weight, worried about, you know, just not feeling comfortable. And, you know, I remember seeing, you know, you, it, it's so funny because it's put in your face all the time, you know, be skinny, be, you know, be fit, be toned. But, you know, for hammer throw, you know, you have to figure out the weight for yourself. And I ended up tearing my MCL, stretch out my ACL, PCL, and my weight jumped up because uh, I wasn't able to exercise, I wasn't able to do anything. And I was like, I hated it, I felt terrible, I looked awful, and I was like, it's like, man, when I was 210, it wasn't too bad, <laughs> you know? Uh, but, you know, just getting comfortable with yourself, it's hard, it really is. Because, you know, you look at old photos of what it used to be, and, but now, when I look at myself, I'm like, how many girls get to say that I've been to world championships? How many girls get to say that I've been to NACX and been to, you know, Tokyo, Japan? And I was there, I was like, I did this because I was comfortable with who I am. I'm comfortable with being strong and being just smiling, happy about who I am. And it took a while, but I've never been happier in my life. I've never been happier. Do you hear from younger girls? I hear from young girls all the time. I've done several, several, I go to schools because, you know, in high school, a lot of girls there, they're sitting there, and they're, they're uncomfortable with themselves, you know, they're worried about, you know, am I going to fit in the prom dress, am I going to, you know, like, be a boy on the side row, you know, that, basically those years, you're going through puberty, you're feeling uncomfortable, you're getting kind of awkward with yourself. But I sit there and I want to go to them and let them know that it's okay. It's okay to be different. If everyone was the same, or you'd be kind of boring. Be unique. Be happy with who you are and stand out. It's okay to stand out. People are going to fight against you because you're not in the cookie cutter shape. You're not the cookie cutter athlete. Stand out and be excited with who you are. And just fight. Fight for the next distance. Fight for just that one inch to make yourself better because it really does. It, it makes a huge huge difference, a huge impact, and you know what, people are amazing, and everyone's so supportive, and that's, when you find the group of people who are supportive and nice and encouraging, you can go to new heights. You gotta cut the bad people out of your life, because you know, if you don't, they're gonna drag you down. So you cut them out, and you stick with the good people, and then you will be better. It's, it's inevitable, you will grow, and you grow on a positive plane. Uh, your victory lap, you have quite a few people. Yeah. How many of those people did you actually know? Not many. <laughs> um, I'm a huge hugger. If you ever know me, come up and just be like, I want a hug. And I'll be like, okay. And I'll be up and give you a hug. I'll pick you up. A lot of, uh, you know, I like to pick people up and take pictures with them because, you know, it's just, it's fun. And I want them to be like, not worried about coming up to me and saying hi. And I'm really nice. When, I, when I'm in the ring, I'm very aggressive and, you know, very, you know, just, this is my zone doing my thing, but after all said is done, I will give everyone a hug. It's just me, it's who I am, it's just being happy and just letting everyone know, even if I have a bad meet, I hug everyone, I, give, I tell them they did a great job, you know, uh, I've been beat many times, I come up to them like, hey, they give them a hug. Uh, it's really funny because the, <laughs> the foreigners, you know, from different countries, they're like, who's this lady, she's coming up and hugging me, you know, after competition, I'm like, good job, and they're sitting there like, oh, okay, hey. <laughs> and I just want to, like, it's a fun sport. Make it fun, make it happy. And that's, that's just who I am. And I'll just hug anyone who's around because that's what it's all about. Just being happy, being joyous, living in the moment. It's not going to last forever. So you might as well take advantage of it.